Hi and welcome back and today we're going to do lots and lots of cleaning. We're going to start with the windows, we're going to go over to the bathrooms, etc. And uh, we are doing some of this cleaning without any plumbing at all. We had to bring in some water, some sprays, we made some vinegar sprays, we uh, bought um, a sprays already mixed. Um, Anything you could think of, we brought it in to clean this house. Now, we were not used to double pane windows. If not, we would have removed the window to remove the screen in order to give it a better cleaning than we did here. But of course, we learned that lesson later on and we were able to clean it a little bit better later on. But honestly, these videos are from a little bit back because we are backed up because we did not have electricity. We did not have internet, so it was very, very hard for us to upload any videos or start anything up on YouTube. So we're giving it to you now. Um, anyways, uh, this took a very, very long time. These windows required so much cleaning, and this is just the master bedroom. Uh, we had to clean pretty much every single spot in this house. Uh, being abandoned and then of course vandalized and I believe some people lived here as well um, You know they kind of just took over the house and they did some drugs and all that so Anyways, we saw evidence of that and now I'm showing you the camping shower that we used to take a shower with and We're using it to clean this bathtub. Take a look at this bathtub Gross Anyways, uh, we had to rinse it out first and let it soak just a little bit. And um, we had a few little bugs there. <laughs> and we used some Ajax and my trusty brush. I love this brush. This brush is made by Dawn. And you're able to put some Dawn dish soap inside of the cavity of this brush and it comes out as you push it down but it didn't quite work 100% for me but I still love this brush this brush has a hefty handle you can grab it you can really go to town with this and I actually did most of the cleaning of this house with this brush it helped us so much I'm not used to spending seven dollars on a brush but it is all I could get in this little country town that we're in. So I had to make do. But you know what? I'm happy with it. I'm showing you that we don't have the plumbing all done obviously and uh, we still have lots to do with the plumbing uh, they're working on the main today I believe so hopefully soon and this is the result from hard work and a lot of scrubbing it's not 100% but so much better than before don't you agree off back to the windows but this time we're doing the frames look at these frames what is up with all this this is uh, just lots of mold I believe top is done bottom is not that's a big difference look at the top here and over here it looks great and there's a hole still over there but whatever anyways <laughs> we're cleaning the frames and we got the kids going <laughs> with the frames and the doors the doors as well all really gross lots of mold and it's just i guess it was just wet and damp in here 
and like I said we have to clean every single and it's not like an easy wipe down and you're done this you've got to scrub and spray and over and over and over again so and it's still not 100% so later on we're going to be painting these doors so but we wanted to have everything kind of sanitized for our family to be able to move in so that was our goal Take a look at all the trash we generated from this house. Yep, everything, almost everything came from inside this storage room right here where it was vandalized, the uh, water heater was taken and some electrical was ripped out so we had to fix this wall. And in order for the plumber to get to the plumbing he needed to break all that and now this is the vent for the uh, dryer. So. And out here is uh, they're working on the main as you can see they're digging a trench and now we're in the master bathroom the master bathroom had the same look as the other the guest bathroom which was completely moldy it was gross if you see go back to a couple of videos you'll see how gross that was so we did the same scrubbing and this time we mixed some Dawn with water and vinegar sprayed it let it sit there for a while we do have a little bit of water coming into the house and I use this scrubby to take care of the soap scum it had So there's our update we have some plumbing but not all and some major cleaning of the most gross areas in the house. So we'll keep you updated and uh, subscribe and keep up with us so you can see what is going on and how long this process will take us. Hopefully not too much longer. Take care.